Right, let's have a look at this question. It was on the 2019 paper. John measures the height of eight students in his class. Their heights in centimetres are 141, 165 and so on. Work out the range of the data in centimetres. OK, so just like we did on our last question from 2014. Remember, range was equal to the max value minus the min value. OK, so your max value in this one. Oh, these are in order. OK, that's really nice. OK, so 172 is your max value. Take away your min value, 141. OK, they're not always in numerical order as they are in this question. So that's kind of nice. OK, so let me take them away. 172 minus 141. And my range or the spread of my data or the difference between max and min is 31. OK, part B then says, which of the, write down which of these heights is an outlier. Give a reason for your answer. So an outlier is a data, a piece of data that is different to the normal trend of the other data. Okay, so it's, it's the one that's different to the rest. Okay, so I would argue that 141 is the outlier. Why? Um, it is a lot less than any of the other values. Okay, so if I was John looking at my data, well, he's going to know, but 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 if he's either it, it's either a smaller person or he's made a, an error in his measurement. Okay, and either of those two. Are, are probable. So work out the mean then of the data. So work out the average. OK, so remember uh, from the last question that mean was another word for average. OK, so add them all up. And divide by the number of numbers. OK. So how many students did we have here? Or how many numbers have we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we divide by eight. OK, put that into your calculator and you get one, three, two, four over eight, which is 165.5 centimetres. OK, so the average height. So when I look at the data, can you see it's down here? OK. So rather than being in the center of my data, which it, it could be, um, it's down here. And the reason for that is this low value 141 is pulling my mean, my average down smaller. OK, if that wasn't there, OK, what would you would find is that your average height would probably be something around 168, OK, which is more representative of the majority of heights in your classroom, OK? But the 141 is pulling your mean down. John also measured the heights of the teachers in the school. John says, most of the teachers in my school have a height that is greater than 175 centimetres. Put a tick in the correct box to show which of the following statements must be true based on what John says, take one box only. Give a reason for your answer. OK. Most of the teachers in my school have a height that is greater than 175. OK, so there's 175. And most of the teachers are bigger. Most. OK, so there's the mean, the mode, and sorry, the, me, the mean, the median, and the mode, okay? So these are three of the measures of center that I mentioned in the 2014 question, okay? But I never explained what mode was. So mode is, you, you don't calculate it, it's the value that occurs most often, okay? So it's the value that happens the most, okay? So you look at your data, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm looking at this and I see my modal value is 172. 
Okay, it's the one that occurred the most. It occurred twice. All of the rest only occurred once. Okay, so the, the value that occurred the most often, the modal height of the teachers is greater than 175. Well, I don't know that from the data that it gave us, so I, I can't really tick that box. So that box may not be true. It could be true, but it may not be true. I, I don't have enough data uh, from here to know that the mode is greater than 175. It may not. There may be three teachers here that are um, 174 centimetres and all of the rest of the teachers could be 175, 176, 177, 178, 179. Do you see what I mean? So not necessarily. So I'm going to rule out this one here. Now, the mean height of the teachers is greater than 175. OK, again, I can't say this one for sure. OK, and the reason for that goes back to here. OK, look at how the effect that 141 had on my data. OK, so it, it almost pulled it below these values here. OK, so if, if, if we were saying, um, if I said to you, most of the students is above 167, OK, I would be correct. But is the mean above 167? So even though there's only two students less than 167, because this one is so low, it's pulling my mean really low. OK, so if there happens to be a teacher down in this side that's really small, it's going to pull my mean down this way. So it may not necessarily be greater than 175. The median height of the teachers is greater than 75. Well, that one is for sure correct. OK, why? Because remember what median is. Median is the value in the middle when they're all in order. Now, if you have most of your teachers greater than 175, then isn't the middle height going to be somewhere up here? OK because it's the value in the middle. OK, so I hope that makes sense. Um, if the median is the value in the middle when the, num the heights are in order, if most of the teachers is taller than 175 centimetres, then the median will be greater than 175 centimetres too. OK, so I hope that makes sense. That was the end of that question. That part D now was tricky enough.